Good morning, church. Last week during this Advent season, Karen taught us about the hope candle. And this week, we're gonna be learning about the prophecy candle, which is also sometimes referred to as the faith candle. I'm gonna read a scripture uh, to us from Isaiah chapter 40, verses three through five. The voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, and the rugged places a plain, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Karen shared with us last week that Advent means arrival or coming. And in the Old Testament, before Christ's birth, God's people had been in exile. You know, they were waiting and hoping in prayerful anticipation for the Messiah that the Lord had promised. So what was happening in those 400 years between the last time that God spoke to His people in the Old Testament and the New Testament? Well, those are sometimes referred to as the silent years, but God was working. The Jewish people had been exiled, as we just mentioned, and because they were exiled from Israel and only a remnant or so were able to come back, several of those people started building synagogues in the area outside of Israel so they can go and learn from the rabbis about the Lord. And also they were out amongst the Gentiles and those Gentiles were able to come to the Jewish faith because of this. And another thing that we um, learn is that after the exile um, to Babylon and then Persia came in and, and also conquered the area of Jerusalem, Alexander the Great came in and conquered the area and he was Greek. And that Greek empire ruled that area for hundreds of years. So what happened because of that is that the common language became the Greek language. And so for several generations, people learned to speak Greek. And a few decades before Christ was born, the Roman Empire came in and they conquered Jerusalem. And what happened um, when the Romans conquered Jerusalem was that they built this massive infrastructure of a road system where travel was more accessible than it ever had been before. So we see God's sovereignty moving nations to accomplish a great purpose. So when the New Testament opens, there's a common, a common language, which is Greek, and there's a road system that had been built by the Romans and um, you know, the gospel has the opportunity to spread farther than it ever had been before. And then we see John the Baptist, and he's the one, the voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord. So in those 430 years, God was working to accomplish His purposes. And while Advent is certainly a time of celebration and anticipation leading up to Christ's birth at Christmas time, it's really so much more than that. It's a preparation the promise for Israel and the promise for the people of God and that Christ has come and He's coming again. So how do we prepare our hearts for this Advent season? You know, Advent, as we, we just talked about, is a special season to prepare our hearts for the coming of Jesus at Christmas. And we can do this by praying and sharing with others. We also can look for ways to be kind and thankful and forgiving. Remember that Jesus Emmanuel, God with us, has come. <laughs>